Let's follow the progress of a pulsation wave as it travels along a pipe and through an open leg or vessel. The yellow wave indicates moderate pressure amplitude. The wave is traveling at the speed of sound. As the wave enters the opening, a small wave is reflected backwards. Green indicates a very low amplitude wave. Note the original wave gets a bit smaller. Now the wave exits the chamber or opening. Due to the change in area, a small wave reflects off the edge and travels backwards as shown in green. The original wave is further reduced as it continues through the pipe. Note there is still a remnant of the initial wave reflecting in the space. The next wave enters and the process repeats including the small reflected waves. Depending on the geometry, frequency and other factors in the system, the two other waves may be in phase. If the waves are aligned, then the amplitudes will add. The process repeats with each stroke of the compressor. Now the reflecting waves are in phase with the main wave and the maximum has been reached. This is called acoustical resonance because the reflections are in phase with the primary pulse. The pressure wave can be amplified significantly, even up to 50 times higher than the original wave. If this acoustical resonance happens, then violent shaking and pipe failure are likely to occur.